Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome to Heat Check. This is our weekly look at the top 10 highest selling vintage Levi's on eBay last week. Let's get into it. So this week's list is a pretty crazy list. There is a lot, especially in the top five, some super high value pieces that got sold. Um, some pieces that you'll you probably will never see in the condition uh, or in the uh, rarity that they are, you'll never see them again. They're just going to be some of the best, maybe, no. Oh. So this week's list is probably one of the craziest lists we've had so far on this channel. Uh, we start out a little bit slow in terms of price, but especially in that top five, it goes crazy. Uh, there are some pieces that got sold this week or, that are some of the best examples of their particular pair or uh, style that you will ever see. And they might be the best pairs on the planet to who knows. Uh, but some pretty incredible pieces, so definitely uh, hold on and check those out towards the end. Otherwise, let's get into this list right now. All right, at number 10, we have this vintage 1960s, 1970s, 501 Selvage Redline denim jeans. Let's take a look. Beautiful color on this. We can see lots of deep blue. Uh, we've got the patch there. It is a lowercase e. Here's the patch. Give me a little bit of a closer look on this guy. Uh, 31 by 36 original. And it's, our, and it's down to 30 by 32. That's pretty impressive. That's probably... I wonder if it's hemmed at all. Um, here we have a stamp, uh, which I think you can see over here, 063. This is probably from 1973. It may even also have an additional tag or uh, attached to it as well. Um, but these are from 1973, not from the 60s, pretty clearly. We have the six underlined right there, like we'd expect. Beautiful selvage right here. Now, this is an, a great pair of 1970s jeans with lots of deep color still left in it. Um, so, a beautiful pair of jeans right here from 1973. Uh, this pair of jeans sold for $549.99 plus shipping out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. A beautiful pair of 1970s redline denim jeans. Next up, we have this Levi's Western Wear 1960s, 70s Pearl Snap Button uh, denim shirt. Uh, this thing is beautiful. Look at that. Uh, those beautiful Pearl Snaps and that beautiful wear on the denim. Here we have the Levi Strauss Western Wear uh, Sanford Eyes. This is a great, great tag. Uh, hard to find. Beautiful Pearl Snaps with all that, uh, all those little facets. Uh, this looks like a little bit of thicker version than what you might expect. Uh, to find uh, on modern uh, Western denim jeans. Looks like we have a repair here. Looks like they did a really good job repairing it. Um, there obviously is some uh, damage and distressing to this, but in a lot of ways, it still looks r rather good. Um, and some of the distressing is in areas that, that, that are more aesthetic uh, than they are detrimental to the value. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shirt here. Uh, this sold for uh, $660 with 30 bids. Lots of bids on this thing. So uh, people are really trying hard to get their hands on this shirt. These are becoming rarer and rarer. Uh, beautiful shirt at number nine. All right, at number eight, we have this 1960s 557 double X type three biggie with a D stamp uh, for the factory code. Uh, this thing is beautiful. Look at that wear right there on the arm. That's incredible. It's hard to find. Same thing on the other arm, but a little bit different pattern. And all of these patches. But wait till you see the other, the backside. Look at all of these patches. Looks like this guy, uh, this person took this to all 50 states. Um, an incredible lineup of patches. Uh, beautiful condition. You got the big E there. Um, great. Uh, I'm actually impressed that the I would expect the wear to be a little bit more intense. Um, especially if uh, they took this to all 50 states. Um, it looks like they did keep this party going all the way into the 86 at least. That's one of the older, pat uh, younger patches there. Uh, the collar, which typically has a lot of wear, is pretty nice and clean. 
Uh, aesthetically, this is one of the most pleasing Levi's jackets from this era that I have seen, maybe ever. Um, so I'm a little bit surprised that it only went for $675 plus shipping. Uh, but either way, it is a beautiful jacket. Uh, hard to find a jacket this interesting, and that tells such an amazing story. Uh, but it's only at number eight, though I think it might need to be a little bit higher. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a pretty big jump in value all the way up to this vintage 505 dark blue jeans, 38 by 29, big E, and it is selvage as well. Look how deep the blue is on here. Uh, obviously, this image is a little bit darker than most images we would have expect, but what an amazing condition. Look how deep blue this is. We have some pale yellow thread, lots of it actually. Um, and again, super deep blue, a beautiful looking. It has the patch on the back. Uh, definitely a uh, much more rare 505 than we uh, normally see on this list. Here you can see 505 uh, with the uh, 0217, which was a uh, Sanfordized denim code. And you say uh, here we have the number five. I actually have a pair of of uh, 505s with a number five in my inventory right now uh, but uh, beautiful beautiful uh, especially the color here the color really sells this particular 505 I'm um, obviously uh, I don't know if I saw yeah there we go we have the selvage right there so this is definitely in the late 60s um, they, there's not that many of these with selvage denim so um, obviously even more rare Beautiful 505s here. The color is incredible. Uh, this pair of jeans sold for $1,250 plus shipping. Beautiful pair of jeans right here. Great sale for uh, the seller and an incredibly rare piece for the buyer. Then next up we have a very rare but uh, has been on our list several times now actually. Um, this is a 502 double X EEE button fly. Uh, which is interesting. I don't know why it's a 502, but the, but the 502 wasn't generally a, a button fly. But this was a display model. You can see that the size is 76 by 45. So we're, uh, this is a huge piece. Probably nobody is ever going to wear this. This is simply a collector's item. We can see that uh, we have the, it's an immaculate condition. Um, there are a ton of buttons on this guy. Uh, pretty incredible. Let's go look at the back patch here. And sure enough, it says 502. And the 502, probably from this era, it almost looks like it's a, it is a leather patch. Uh, the 502 from this era, or, you know, was, was a, a zipper jean. Uh, but this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, an exceptional condition. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised it did, it only sold for what it did. It sold for 14 at 24 with 10 bids. Um, this is a sort of quintessential. Uh, look, they had to <laughs> they actually have to use two hangers to hold it up. Sort of a quintessential Levi's collector's item. Uh, such a beautiful condition. Obviously, nobody's wearing it, so you're not getting any wear. Um, but uh, $1,400 uh, definitely would uh, make sense for this uh, rare uh, pair of Levi's, and it's super, super cool. Uh, definitely deserves to be on this list. Next up, we have a 1950s, 60s Type 2 denim jacket, probably from the 50s, I'd imagine. Uh, it does not have its label. Uh, type 2s are on this list all the time, but man, this one's a beautiful one too. Uh, let's go back to that first one. Lots of good color still, and where it does have wear, the wear is very aesthetic. I don't see any particular holes. Here you can see the selvage uh, line that we would expect from a type 2 from this era a beautiful jacket it is a let's see if, what are the measurements on this thing um, the chest is about 20 it's a little bit smaller it's got a 17 that's what you would expect um, very cool uh, they did say the size tag is missing but they probably would have had that on the label or they definitely would have had that on the label uh, so obviously that is gone but man what an incredibly beautiful jacket here. Um, in some weeks, this would top the list, but this week it did not. This thing sold for $1,500 plus shipping. 
uh, beautiful type two denim jacket. So some weeks, obviously, $1,500 tops the list, but we have a lot more to go this week. We have this vintage sell, uh, 501 Redline Selvage, uh, new old stock, so dead stock. Look at that right there. Beautiful. Uh, we have talked about this many times. These are uh, shrink to fit, which are getting rarer and rarer. It looks like these are also the 1966 model or the 66 model. Uh, uh, let's see if we can give a, a more accurate date. These are probably a bit later. Uh, it does have a tag, so these are at least in the 70s, uh, uh, early to mid 70s. Uh, my guess is actually these are probably you got a single felt seam there. Um, these are probably mid to late 70s, uh, is my guess. But a beautiful uh, pair here, shrink to fit this deep color. Dead sock is going to get you big money every single time. And it's no exception here. We have this pair of jeans selling for $16.50 plus shipping, $33 in shipping. So almost quite, to, almost to $1,700. Uh, beautiful pair of jeans here. These are going to become rarer and rarer. If you have some, maybe hold on to them because at some point these shrink to fit dead stock uh, jeans that are unshrunk uh, will be some of the rarest jeans on the planet. Uh, so very, very cool here. All right, now we are back with the Type 2 denim jean here at number three, but look at the color on this. Definitely superior to the previous one. Uh, you don't find a deep color like this that often, um, and here you do, and it looks like most of the pleats uh, along the center are still intact, which is uh, somewhat uncommon. Um, here we go. We have, uh, of course, if they would have uh, exposed this photo a little bit better and not had so much... Uh, sort of you know uh, off-white color here would have definitely accentuated the color but you have a lot of good color you have the the patch thread still intact there though you do not have the patch uh, this is a beautiful beautiful type 2 denim jacket one of the best we have seen on this list um, in fact it might be the best considering all of the different conditions like the fact that um, the pleats are still intact um, and look at that selvage right inside there. You still see some lining, and there's a lot of deep color. Uh, this is def definitely uh, one of the best Type 2s we've seen on this list. And the value and the price definitely um, uh, reflects that. This thing sold for $29.10. So $2,910 with 15 bids plus shipping out of Florida. What an incredible jacket. Uh, this is certainly one of the best Type 2s we have seen to date. Now you may have thought that all of the jeans that we have seen all... Now you may have thought that all the Levi's we have seen thus far uh, would be the limit. But this week is a pretty crazy week. We have this 1960s 505 uh, Big E with Selvage dead stock. You can see here these are pre-shrunk denim. Uh, we have the Big E still, the 505. The 505 from this era up into the mid-70s has definitely been on the up and up. They've become more and more valuable. But here we have all kinds of um, marketing materials still attached to hangers, pocket hangers. Now, this is an incredible piece. It looks like we have a stamp here. So my guess is these are probably not 70s. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. But my guess is these would be early early 70s not 60s uh, in this case but either way it is a beautiful dead stock piece with uh, selvage you will be hard pressed to ever find something like this ever again in this condition uh, these are certainly uh, a collector's piece here we have the original price tag of 869 wow if you could only pay for that uh, pay that price for these uh, that would be something else uh, these are exceptional in every way in terms of 505s. Maybe they are the best 505s uh, uh, that exist. I don't. I don't know. Uh, certainly, they are in incredibly immaculate condition. Uh, so, uh, here the price is three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars with twenty-seven bids. Obviously, people really working hard to get this particular pair uh, because it is, like I said, exceptional in almost every single way. 
Uh, congratulations to both buyer and seller. Now, before we get to number one, I do want to let you know that if you want to learn how to uh, date and uh, identify vintage Levi's, check the eye above. We have a playlist with a bunch of different videos and resources on how to identify vintage Levi's and help you become your own expert. So check those out if you're interested. Now, if that wasn't enough, we have another pair, and this pair right here sold for even more than the previous pair, and it is a vintage Levi's 501 double X, uh, obviously Big E, Redline Selvage from the 50s. Here we have the Big E. There's the 501 double X, and look at the color on this one. It is incredible. Super deep and dark. I don't really care for this angle. Uh, of picture you just give me straight on I don't know why you have to do it at an angle it doesn't make too much sense to me but if you're trying to just get more pictures it makes I guess that makes somewhat sense um, but what a beautiful beautiful pair here from the 1950s you do see the hidden rivets as well um, we have the selvage denim there that we would expect uh, here we have I don't see a particular character in that uh, we have an old stamp that you might see from that era. Uh, no selvage in, it looks like, I guess it's a pocket watch. But we do have an offset uh, belt loop, which was uh, would be typical around this time. Uh, it shows the backside of the, the tab, which is, this is all very, very helpful. I'm glad they showed this uh, because uh, this gives a, a good idea that this was definitely from the 50s because they have both sides of the tab covered. We have the V-stitch like we would expect. Um, what an incredible pair of 505s in a good size, 32, 27 and a half, a little short, uh, but still uh, a beautiful and rare pair of jeans. Uh, obviously, we don't have the um, leather uh, leather, pe leather piece. We, this is still the sort of uh, more modern Akron uh, cardboardish uh, type uh, back patch, but uh, that makes sense from its era. This pair of jeans went for $46.49.99 with 46 bids. Uh, one of the best pairs of jeans and most valuable pairs of jeans we've seen on this list to date. An incredible, incredible pair of Levi's topping out this list at number one. So that was a top 10. Definitely pretty wild, especially in that last little bit. Some pretty crazy pieces. Uh, those dead stock 505s are probably my favorite. I just think it's such an incredible piece that you may not find in that condition ever again. Uh, so it's super awesome. Definitely uh, glad to have it on this list and definitely glad to at least appreciate it from afar. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.